Hello and welcome once more to Binary News, your daily dose of focused gaming news on myself, Amata. Today is still the 15th of August and I have some rather interesting news as regarding Sony and their Gamescom conference. And apparently, according to comments from the SCE Worldwide boss, Shuhei Yoshida, they had so many games to announce that it had to hold back some from the Gamescom conference. And he said in an interview with Famitsu, and then helpfully translated via Gematsu, he said, quote, This time the theme was to introduce first-party games, as well as a number of third-party games. But to be honest, in selecting the games we wanted to introduce, we realised it wasn't possible to fit everything into the frame of the conference. So unfortunately, there were some games we couldn't introduce this time. That's one of the reasons we had the new The Order 1886 and Bloodborne trailers before the conference. And basically, this means that more PS4 uh, slash Sony revelations will be coming our way quite soon. And that basically the Tokyo Game Show is going to be basically very PS4 focused, or at least will feature some PS4 games. And Shu Hang said it's going to be a, quote, very important point of their TGS plans. And he continued by saying, quote, on the subject of the PlayStation 4 and the Japanese marketplace, more content is necessary in order for it to gain ground. If games made by Japanese developers further multiply, game fans will gradually be begin buying a PlayStation 4. From here, we're working with publishers to increase the PlayStation 4 user base. So, there you have it, guys. We can probably expect some JRPGs or Japanese-focused um, games release, uh, revealed sorry, at the Tokyo Games Show. But it's interesting to know that they literally had so much to talk about that they couldn't fit it in. Obviously, Gamescom is not quite as long as a conference as E3. And even then, you can't necessarily squeeze everything in if you literally have that much to talk about. So keep your eyes peeled for Tokyo Game Show. Um, undoubtedly, there'll be some really nice reveals there. Hopefully, we'll see some more JRPGs. That isn't Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts 3. Not that I don't love those games, because I do. But it would be nice to see some new contenders to the JRPG market. And of course, that's really what's going to get the Japanese gamers interested. So, what do you think they're going to reveal at TGS? I'd love to hear your thoughts, but that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.